Star Wars 7x7 episode 3076. Now that we've had a little time to let things settle and now that everything's complete, we're going to take a few episodes to look back at the Andor series, look back at characters, look back at situations, and in this particular case, a surprisingly inexplicably unresolved storyline, at least so far, but yeah, let's just get into it. Punch it! Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy and thank you so much for joining me for it. So today's episode, our first episode, taking a look back at the Andor series now that we have everything available to us, or at least season one of the series, right? We're going to start by looking at Carrie, that's K-E-R-R-I in case you were wondering, and Carrie is of course Cassie and Andor's sister on Canari. Just to give you the recap of where things stand with Carrie, we saw her in the first episode of Andor in the flashbacks on Canari. She's six years old and she's part of that tribe of children that seem to have been abandoned on Canari, but then there's a mission that happens for all intents and purposes where a ship crashes and a bunch of the older children in the tribe go to check out what the situation is. Cassian among them where he seems like he is at the very young young cusp of being able to go on missions like this, right? I'm calling it a mission. I'm sure that's not how they described it, but that's what it is for all intents and purposes. And as Cassian, then known as Cassa, takes off, Carrie is left behind. And that is seemingly the last time that Cassian has seen his sister. Then we jump ahead a couple of decades to the opening scenes of the Andor series where Cassian is in a bar with a service of ill repute, <laughs> if you will, looking for leads on a Canari woman who is presumably his sister. That's what he says to the person that he talks to at the establishment. And from this, we get the idea that he has been searching for her for quite some time. And the trail is actually getting a little warmer in the sense that that there had been a Canari woman at the establishment, but that was, quote, several months ago, unquote. So who knows how far behind his sister, assuming this is his sister, he's been, but this seems like it's probably the closest he's been in terms of time and place. But this is the last thing that Cassian is able to do in regard to searching for his sister before all the events of the Andor series happen. This does raise a couple of questions, in particular, what happens after Clem and Marva take Cassian off of Canari? What happens to all the rest of the kids who are still there? The implication is something very bad is going to happen to them. but. It seems rather unlikely that those kids are getting off the planet unless they're being taken for nefarious purposes, which certainly happens in this galaxy. But we don't know what really happened, and Marva tells us a story that we can't necessarily believe. So if you think back to episode seven, announcement, when Cassian comes back to Ferrix and he tries to get Marva to come with him, she initially says, you know, I'm tired, it's a lot. And so he lets her go to bed and says, we'll leave first thing in the morning, arrives first thing in the morning, she hasn't packed and she says, you can't stay and I can't go and they have that conversation, right? So as Cassian decides to leave and understanding that Marva is definitely not going with him, she says just one more thing. Here's the direct quote. She says, stop searching for your sister. It's a fantasy. There were no survivors on Canari. What happened there was not your responsibility. You were a child. Let it go. And Cassian doesn't question this, doesn't really react to it at all. So yes, that of course raises a lot of questions <laughs> in the interaction, right? Is Marva telling the truth here? Does she know for a fact that there were no survivors on Canari? And if she does know that for a fact, then why has she let Cassian go traipsing around wherever he's gone in search of the sister? I think we can safely assume that Marva's aware that Cassian's been doing this because she says, stop searching for your sister. So she has some knowledge of this. If she was telling the truth that there were no survivors, why would she have let him go on like this for so long? 
She seems like somebody who would not hesitate telling Cassian difficult truths. At least that's the portrait of the character that I think we've been given. And the fact that Cassian doesn't react to it, doesn't say, what are you talking about? I thought she's been alive all these years. Why didn't you tell me? Why did you let me just go on and do all of these crazy things? And for that matter, why would I have put myself into a situation where I had to kill these two Preox Morlana corporate officers because I was looking for my sister and now I'm in super big trouble and I never would have been if you'd told me about my sister in the first place. I mean, you know, I'm... <laughs> obviously rolling with this, but even just in the moment, if you had been looking for your sister for a significant amount of time and you were suddenly told, yeah, stop looking for your sister, there were no survivors, like wouldn't you have some kind of a reaction to that? And so the fact that Cassian doesn't have a reaction to that leads me to believe that he does not believe Marva in that moment. He's talking to her about getting out of the cold and going somewhere warm and easy. And I think she knows that Cassian has had a difficult life up to this moment. I think she's saying this to him to try to absolve him from his guilt and his feelings of responsibility. She tells him, you know, you weren't responsible. You were a child and you should let it go. She wants things to be warm and easy for him. He's lived a very difficult life. So... I'm thinking the sister definitely has to be out there someplace, and then it's just a question of, will Cassian encounter her in season two? Will they close the loop on that storyline? It seems like it's gonna be a little bit more difficult considering that Cassian is now hooking up with Luthen and whatever his rebel activity is gonna be. Like, that's gonna take Cassian further underground and make it more difficult for him to be found, but I imagine that his own search for the sister will happen on its own time when he gets it, which I imagine he probably will. And I don't think we've met the sister yet either, at least in adult life, right? I've seen theories floating around. Is Dedra really secretly his sister? Is Cinta really his sister? Is Bix really his sister? Yeah, I don't think that's the case for any of those characters. I think she's someone we haven't yet met as an adult, and I do really hope they close the loop on that storyline. So that's what I've got for you on Carrie, Cassie and Andor's younger sister, and everything that we know and don't yet know and what you know, we're keeping our fingers crossed for in season two of the Andor series. And that is going to do it for this episode of the podcast. It just remains for me to say, thank you so much for joining me for it as always. And may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, but their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.